Hi guys, so this video is for those of you that have actually got the Mayfair one indicator. Right? I said on the last webinar that I would put a video together. Um, if you've obviously been using it for the last couple of days, then great. But what I wanted to do is just go into a little bit more depth, right? So as you're aware from the, the, the webinar or the prop firm channel, if you've already got access to the indicator and you've been following along, i done obviously the video for the the Bitcoin concepts, um, maybe start of, of this week. Um, I then done Wednesday, Thursday, Friday with the kind of stalk in the euro move. So th this is where the kind of concepts come together. Right? This is where the mechanical kind of structure in. This is all part of the kind of book release at the end of the month, obviously. So th this is the kind of thing, right, where, you know, passing these prop challenges, using this as just kind of a, a very mechanical setup is what the indicator was actually kind of developed for, right? So in the grand scheme of things, it's not a it's not a buy or a sell system or a setup. It's just helping you identify kind of key levels, key events, you know, key kind of happenings in terms of some of the other things that we teach, obviously from the Mayfair method and, and, and beyond, right? So, you know, I still deploy things like Elliot and Wyckoff and still want to get an understanding of the bias overall. The daily bias, you know, ultimately the kind of the trend bias, the swing bias, and so on, so on. But what the indicator does is the indicator allows us to you now identify what's going on, right? So if I was just to highlight, and you can see some of these things um, if you were to go into the settings. So the buy before you sell, right, or the sell before you buy, depending on where it is on the chart, right, is ultimately that last candle. Um, to the opposing side, right? So this is obviously the last buy before the sell. That creates obviously the push down. So all we're doing and all we kind of say in there is that there's obviously a lot of money, a lot of momentum that kind of happened there, right? And that kind of caused the rejection away. We failed from there, right? To take out a new high, well, or to make a new high from this failure. So in the grand scheme of things, what we're actually looking at is with our current bias, we've actually had the well, a couple of different moves, a couple of different things. We've actually had and we've seen the change of character, right? So the first change of character is we've created, in essence, kind of lower forms of lower lows, right? So as you can see in here, we dropped, we then rallied, and we failed to make a new high. And then what we did is we actually come through and made a new low, right? So this is ultimately highlighting that change of character. It's, it's just to help you kind of visualize, right? So once you have that change of character, we then come up and we fail to take out the new high. In the grand scheme of things, these little dotted lines, these have created the kind of master pattern consolidation, right? So we got a 50% marker kind of running across here. And these are just all things that are kind of useful information in terms of what you want to do with this next, right? So let's play this forward a little bit further. I've put it on to bar replay because obviously rather than trying to wait for the you know, next 15 minute candles, next 15 minute candles, I'm just going to go back in time. This isn't the kind of, you know, a, I predict this or I predict that. It's um, just kind of showing how and what we see in on the indicator. So the next thing that we've got there is it's painting a gap. Right? So we've actually got a gap sitting. I'll pull that in just to highlight it for you guys there. We've got a gap, obviously, on those two candles. So the prior move there and the move post this one long red candle has created a gap. There's an area of interest, right? So these are the kinds of things that obviously this is picking up on you know, in the grand scheme of things. Now, once we come into the gap, what we want to do is see whether or not we get a rejection or a pass through. So we get a pass through this particular move. We now get a new master pattern painted right now one of the things i like to do i like to use this and i'll draw you know whether it's a box and everything's not orange at the moment so i'll draw a box and i'll draw the lines right and i'll just keep these as kind of areas of interest right and obviously if i'm changing time frames and, and, and so on so on it just kind of gives me an idea in terms of you know what's going on so i've got a gap there i've got an area of interest i've obviously got that consolidation probably on a smaller time frame as we then, you know, start to move up, I'm looking for what's actually going on, right? So we now have a move back down to the area. We ultimately bounce off the area. So the question is, right, for something like this, and this is where it's not a buy or a sell type indication, 
is are we likely to see this right, with a break of character, a break, break of structure, or are we likely to see this back into the zone, break through the zone, back down, and ultimately fall down, right? So we're not trying to predict what it is. What we're actually looking at is just giving us the options and kind of making us aware of what's going on, right? We know we've got liquidity up here. If we can take out these highs, then obviously we know where the rough target is likely to be. I'll change that color just for the sake of this. We know where the upside target's likely to be. And if we fail at this particular level, we got a good indication in terms of where the downside targets are. Right? So we know that we got, you know, this is an area of interest. We got this is an area of interest, right? So these are pretty straightforward. These are pretty obvious in the grand scheme of things, right? But this is just helping you visualize. After you've used this for a couple of weeks, you probably realize, hey, I understand, you know, why we form in what we form in. I've seen what we've seen. You know, this is where the master pattern is going to come in. This is where the buy before you sell is going to happen. This is where the market structure is going to shift. This is obviously the change of character or the break of structure. And you'll start to identify these things kind of for yourself. So as we break through this now area of interest, right, we can again see what we've got. Right, this one's already been used, so we can kind of tap this and say, well, actually, this has kind of been used as well, but there's going to be still that area of what's up above. We've now got a new master pattern forming in there, right? So these becomes, you know, although it's a lot, they become areas for potential reversals, right? So if ultimately we don't take any of these areas, right, we've now just created a new low, right? However, we failed to take the swing low in terms of an actual close below that level right we've come straight back to the area of interest we've left a gap right we've still got liquidity up and above right? so what we're looking for right now is what is the bigger picture doing well bigger picture we've got this move this move followed by this move right we've created that high which technically is here look we ultimately come back we fail to make a new high we then come back and we technically make a new low, right? However, we still haven't closed in and below this level, right? So how I'm using this indicator is just to kind of help me visualize this kind of time and time and time again, right? So what I'm looking for now is, do we have a close below? No, we come straight back into the gap area, but we close still below the area of interest. I can get rid of this box as well now, right? So... I'm actually just, you know, working with the charts to see what's going on, why, right? Now the chart has just painted a sweep, okay? So a sweep area is ultimately the taking the liquidity, right? So we've come up and back down, right? But we've actually failed to close. We've tapped into liquidity a couple of times, right? Which is probably what these wicks are showing. And therefore, the anticipation is we want to move up, right? But well, we know where we want to move up to. There's the obvious. We've just taken the gap. Right? So you can start to see how these things start to play themselves out, right? Now, the other thing is where we have that first master pattern and we create in a second master pattern, if we were to see a change of character, what we can do is come from the low, mark up the 50% marker, which is, you know, no surprise, just above liquidity, right? There's our kind of potential target to the upside right because that's the 50 percent version of obviously the master pattern right so just to give kind of an idea and we've taken that so we don't need this anymore we've got liquidity there i'm going to keep the area of interest because it's an area of interest i'm going to keep the second area of interest and i'm just going to mark this up right so something like this so what I want to do now is I want to start to see I could drop a smaller time frame. I'm just going to keep this on a 15 minute just to keep it simple, right? But what I want to really see is I want to see a change of character now to the upside, right? We've obviously just taken a sweep. Now, if we were to retake this sweep and we close below this level, the actual trade or the setup or the looking for the setup is actually off the table, right? So this is where it gets a little bit more like... Mm, Am I interested in this or not, right? There we go. We don't actually close below this. So we start to make these moves up, right? We then have, obviously, this area, which is actually the top of the new master pattern. So you can actually see inside of this 
I mark this up as red because that's what the master pattern show in there. And we've got this level red, right? So I don't like this as a trade because ultimately looking at the trade like this means that we'd be taking an entry here with a view of only a target there. But on a smaller time frame, you know, it it could show us a little bit more, right? So again, I'm not going to show on a smaller time frame for now. I want you guys to kind of go away and play with this. But ultimately, what you then start to see is if this master pattern is respectful, we come back down ideally to the white line, we start to make a move up, come back down and test the new master pattern levels, right? And these things are obviously already painted on the lines, on the levels, right? We've probably now got liquidity in between the two in that box and up there. And I'm still expecting, obviously, the move to the upside overall, right? We respect the level. There's the move to the upside. Right? We still haven't taken the liquidity. We come back in testing the fair value gap, right? And then ultimately, we start to move up, right? So as you can see, it's not me using the indicator for uh, the infos in terms of, you know, buy now and sell now. This is me working with the indicator to understand where these key levels are, why these key levels, you know, this level over here was painted over there. We get that kind of bounce off it. You know, we see these moves and all I'm looking for is then the change of character, the break of structure, the confirmations that allow me to, you know, just use this in my favor. So anyway, I hope this makes a lot more sense for you guys now that you've seen it. And obviously you've had time to play with it yourselves. Um, any questions, obviously feel free to, uh, to ask and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers guys.